But I think the big issue that you need to look at is that you thought it was a drama with a splash of theater of the absurd, as you said. And when we are trying to figure out the style, um, there are some questions that you can ask to help give you more direction in knowing how to pick it, okay? So the first thing you can ask is, well, what type of people am I dealing with? Am I dealing with a normal view of people, meaning the masses, or am I dealing with heightened, meaning there are very few people like this, and if, if there are any, there would be not a lot of them? Meaning we're talking about sort of the outside of society. Then you ask, what type of situation is it? Are we talking about a dramatic situation? Are we talking about a comedic situation? Are we talking about a heightened comedic situation? So is this, is, is this, you know, let's say you get stuck there and you go, well, I don't know. Like, um, I don't know what the situation is. Cause it seemed like you get, if you, if you, we're relatively new at this. You may get, get stuck by saying, well, it's a dramatic situation because the guy's, you know, scared he's going to die. But um, the third question is the one that should help clarify it to you, which is what is the overall purpose of this? How is it supposed to affect the audience? And that should give you clarity because the goal of this is not supposed to be to move the audience and get them to feel for the plight of the character the same way Apocalypse Now or Raging Bull or Casino, you know, or Goodfellas, you know, where we're talking about drama. The goal of this is supposed to make us think about different principles and, you know, philosophies and, that will give you some clarity. And so once you know that, then you can kind of backtrack and go, okay, so that would definitely fall under the umbrella of theater of the absurd, meaning my character needs to be very quirky. Does that help clarify it, David? Yeah, a little bit, because I, I kind of just stopped at that first question, because it's, outside it's of the, the narrator voice, these people are all very much very normal people. Well, I mean... Or normal yeah. people. Well, they, they may behave normal, but there's nothing normal here. The humor of it is that you're behaving as normal people, even though your, your story is being written by a woman. Yeah. And you have no say in it. So, you know, it, it's funnier that way, that you behave as normal people, given because that really is the absurd part of it, <clears throat> is that, you have somebody writing your story and it actually is happening. So if you were to play it really weird and quirky, you would take away from the, how poignant and funny that issue is. So Amrit, part, don't, 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 um, don't get too wacky. You know, yeah. in other words, what emotion did you use? Anxiety. And how about your objective? To open his eyes. Yeah, I mean, I would probably, because anxiety, it, it gives you maybe have too much feeling. Yeah. You know, that maybe your, maybe your emotion needs to be something like pride or determination, something cold. You know, very matter of fact, very sterile. Yeah, I like pride. Yeah. Like pride or determination or ambition, you know, yeah. something very sort of like uh, a businessman or like a lawyer or a doctor giving, you know, you have cancer but with no feeling at all, you know, hey. very matter of fact, you know, you have to do this. This is just the way it is. Yeah. You have to die. You have to die this way because this is a historic book and there's nothing more important than a book. And you're left, David, just suffering. Just, oh my God, why well, can't we just erase it? That was so funny. That part, <laughs> you know? Um, and when you say things, by the way, there's going to be some bouncing back and forth here where you will become the funny for a moment, David. Because when he says that, when you say that line, well, can't we erase it? Like for that moment, that's a punchline. Okay? And then we need to see Amrit react to it. No. So, yeah, and it's very sort of like, no. like And, and as if there, there's no way in hell we would ever do that to a book. We wouldn't erase brilliance. 
And then by him saying, no, you have suddenly become the straight man again. So just know one of the things that makes comedy so hard is the looking at it through a microscope and figuring out how things like that work. Like how do you go from being a funny man, telling, you know, being the punchline guy to suddenly the straight man in like one second. And that does happen where your reaction sometimes can end up turning into a punchline that you now have to react to. Does that make sense? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Amber, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Okay. 